Yao karibu kwenye mseto East Africa mzazi Willy Tuva na Tumayo ume settle down kwa ajili ya kile ambacho nimekuandalia leo naamini kwamba kwenye mahojiano ambao unakwenda kuyashuhudia utahamasika na zaidi hapo unakwenda kufahamu mtu ambaye huenda kabadilisha maisha yako na mzungumzie nani na mpa nafasi aweze kujitambulisha Mi nimezaliwa Mombasa na pia ni kalelewa huko uh, nilienda primary school mpaka secondary huko huko Mombasa in fact nilikuja Nairobi tu mwaka jana 2019 Um, sija kao sana na interest zangu um, sana sana zilikuwa around the performing arts na creative arts nilipenda um, kuchora nilipenda kuimba drama class nilikuwa drama and music festivals um, pia sports i was very active na sports basketball nilikuwa on the swimming team nilikuwa na na, <laughs> na compete in the coast province pia nilikuja kasarani stadium once or twice So vitukai hizo nilikuwa very interested in everything. Um, na pia nilikuwa prefect shuleni, senior prefect, um, house captain, um, vitu vingi sana. I was very active as a kid. And nilipenda maisha yangu kwa sababu my parents were always encouraging me, especially mamangu. Alikuwa ananiambia sana do everything. Fanya kila kitu unaweza fanya. Fanya kila kitu ambao una nguvu kufanya so that um, una options um, ukienda nje ukienda nje ya Mombasa you have options at least una experiences mingi sana All right um je ulikuwa na umri wa miaka mingapi wakati ambapo uligundua kwamba hauna uwezo wa kuona yani ulipoanza kupoteza uwezo wako wa kuona ulikuwa na kama umri wa kama miaka mingapi Nilikuwa na miaka 14 15 hapo Nilianza ku notice kwamba shuleni sioni blackboard vizuri nikisoma kitu kwa kitabu sioni vizuri drama scripts zangu sizioni hata pia nikicheza sports. Kuna kitu ambao wanaita blind spots kwa kwa macho. Ni kama we unajua we unaona lakini huoni. So mtu akikurushia mpira kwa mfano, we unafikiria utaiona lakini inakupita tu ama huishiki. So vitu kama hizo nilikuwa naanza ku notice. Alafu nikasema, "Eh, hey, wacha niambie mama." Nikamwambia mama akasema, "Okay, wacha tuende kwa daktari upimwe." Sasa tukaenda kwa hiyo appointment, daktari alikuwa anaangalia kaa na, najifanya sioni sioni vizuri hizo chat hiyo chat uh, kwa kwa ukuta ambao hapa kusoma alikuwa ananiambia soma hizo chat wewe ni mtoto wewe ni mtoto mdogo bado bado wewe ni kijana ati huoni hebu soma soma nilikuwa naambia mimi sioni i cannot see what is on the wall uh, so alikuwa anafikiria labda mi mi ni mjinga ama sijui ni nini lakini tangu ile siku alipatia mewani na nikasema mi si rudi kwa huyu daktari tena kwa sababu he was making me feel like i'm ashamed of of um, what is what is happening with my eyes na sikuipenda already you know ka we ni mtoto we ni kijana uko shuleni you have problems already unajaribu kufit in shuleni na watu you are trying to have friends lakini wengine wananicheka kwa sababu sioni vizuri ninagonga vitu bahati mbaya pia walimu walikuwa nafikiria mimi ni mvivu kwa sababu usitaki kusoma kwa you know kwa, kwa school play ama sitaki usimama klasini kusoma vitu kwa hizo so nili, nilipitia vitu mingi sana na nikaamua tu okay wacha nivai tu hizi glasses ambazo nimepatia hizi mewani lakini ilikuwa kitu ambacho naita temporary measure kwa sababu zilifanya kazi but kuli, ilifika mahali amba hazikuanza na nisaidia tena all right um wakati ambapo ulipogundua kwamba sasa sina uwezo wa kuona eh reaction zako zilikuwaaje uli react namna gani kitu ya kwanza ilikuwa self confidence hiyo ilinitoka i felt ya kwamba sikujielewa Siku, siwezi kujifahamu siku hizi mimi ni nani hii maisha ni gani kwa sababu obviously wewe ukiendelea na maisha un, unajipangia vile unatakufanya pale watakuenda lakini kitu kai hii you cannot predict it so self confidence yangu ili ili kwa ngumu alafu pia ongeza vitu kaa warafiki zako ambao wanakutoka wanaenda wanapotea Um, familia wengine amba labda wanaza kuangalia ka they are pitying you they are feeling bad for you feeling sorry for you na hiyo vitu kwa hizo hazisaidi mtu amba ana, ana, ana shida hazisaidi mtu amba anaenda through depression na pia opportunities zilikuwa very few kwa sababu kuna watu <laughs> wachache sana ambao watakupatia opportunities kama we ni mlemavu wa aina yoyote wanakuangalia tu hmm, 
they make the decision kwamba wewe huwezi fanya hivi na huwezi fanya hivi hata wataka kupatia hiyo chance hiyo ilikuwa shida nyingine discrimination um pia loving myself understanding vile kujipenda vile vile niko sahi it took me a long time kujipenda tena kusema crystal you're still beautiful you're still valuable bado you have talents bado you have purpose bado unaweza smile na kucheka na kupenda wengine you know that kind of thing pia ilikuwa struggle sana kwangu na i wish that society wangeelewa ya kwamba kama mtu ni tofauti haimaanishi kwamba hawezi fanya kitu waelewa just because you are able differently doesn't mean that wengine hawezi ku kuku accept vile uko unaelewa hiyo ndio shida yetu tradition inasema oh ukiona mtu wa mtu ambaye ni mlemavu usiende karibu na yeye usimwangalie usimshika ah toka hapo usionge na yeye you know vitu kama hizo ambazo tunaambia watoto wetu ah usimwangalie hebu hebu picha huku vitu kama hizo and it makes people scared of people with disability hiyo ndio shida yetu ya wa Afrika i think in general kwa sababu in the west watu wako hivyo i mean obviously iko discrimination itakuwa inshi yote ambayo unaenda lakini hapa Afrika ni zaidi sana so i feel as though people first of all wanafa kuona mtu kama mtu that's the first thing ye ni binadamu hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza they have blood running through their veins kama wewe they have a heartbeat kama wewe they have dreams kama wewe vitu ka hizo give people a chance kwa sababu It's not it's not something ambayo haizi kufanyia pia haizi haizi fanyika kwako pia ama mtu ambao unajua ama unampenda pia inaweza fanywa that thing is is um is possible for anyone si kitu ambayo unaweza unaweza escape hivyo ndo najaribu kusema right um je ulienda labda kusomea um kutumia labda kusoma kwa mtu ambaye hana uwezo wa kuona je ulienda kusomea katika maybe school of blindness any school ili uweze kujua jinsi gani ambao unaweza kuishi na pof sijawaienda um, kwa shule ya uh, walemavu or, or blind school najua kuna blind schools huko Nairobi kama Thika school for the blind lakini sijawaienda kwa sababu mimi uh, nilipata hii condition as an adult si kwa mtoto so nilikuwa nishamaliza masomo so kila kitu ambacho nimejifunza nimejifunza tu mwenyewe ni kwenda YouTube ku watch videos kuuliza wengine ambao ni walemavu vile wanaendelea na maisha kuuliza maswali tu How do you cook nowadays? Una una unaosha unafua nguo zako aje? Um, unaenda supermarket aje? Um, unatumia simu yako aje? Vitu kama hizo. Nikuulize tu maswali. Just learning for yourself, teaching yourself um, a new way of life. Hiyo ni it's it's called in in it adjusting to life. That's all. Um si kitu rahisi for sure, lakini it's possible kwa sababu mimi nimeifanya na watu wengi ambao wameifanya na wajua wako wengi wako wengi sana so adjusting na pia i think imenisaidia kuwa more creative already mimi ni mtu ambaye ni creative si ndio kwa sababu nafanya vitu ka arts nini nini lakini ilifanya niwe creative in a different way mimi siku hizi ni problem solver <laughs> of the highest degree kabisa nikiona tu problem moja nasema hmm hiyo ati wasema siezi wacha ni wacha ni kuonyeshe alafu nitaenda nitafanya research yangu nipate njia ambayo naweza fanya hiyo kitu alafu narudi nasema okay nime nimefanya hivi na hivi nimesoma hapa na hapa na nimepata vile ambavyo nitaweza fanya hii kitu so i've becoming i've become much more creative about problem solving and uh, confidence yangu imerudi I'm, i'm i'm sure unaweza sikia kwa sauti yangu ambayo imerudi um familia yangu my my parents my two brothers and one sister wote they are so so good to me wananisaidia sana and they really encourage me a lot um so maisha yangu kwa sasa naendelea tu na mziki naipenda naipenda sana music is a way of of expressing myself ku express tu jani yangu um mafikira, mafikira zangu my feelings everything like that it's 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 going well lakini kusema kweli mzazi hata sita kudanganya like jana usiku as in jana usiku nilikuwa nyumbani nilikuwa nalia i was just here crying because as much as nimejifunza kufanya hivi na hivi it doesn't mean that challenges are not there it doesn't mean that bado sili it doesn't mean that i don't get sad or or feel like okay kesho nitaamka kweli nitaenda huku nje kweli kwa hii dunia 
nitapigana na watu kweli because people are still going to be people binadamu ni binadamu and we all have our faults and we all assume things na tunachukulia watu vibaya saa zingine so yesterday usiku nilikuwa nalia kwa kitanda yangu nilikuwa na naomba ya Mungu God please give me strength for tomorrow so watu wanafaa kujua kwamba hata kama mi Kristo la sige unamuona ama unamsikia anacheka ana, ana, ana positivity mingi kwa roho yake still i ha, i go through these moments si si rahisi alright sasa hivi vile ambavyo hauoni ni vitu gani ambavyo una miss sana vitu gani ambavyo unavikosa zaidi kuna vitu vingi ambavyo i miss siku hizi i miss reading a book um i miss kutembea peke yangu bila ku, you know, kuuliza mtu tafadhali nisaidie kutembea ama kuenda kukimbia kufanya jogging kwa sababu nilikuwa napenda sports sana pia i miss kuangalia kwa kio alafu kuona uso yangu i don't know what i look like as an adult as an adult woman sijui vile na you know uso yangu iko so ningependa kujiona pia i miss seeing my parents my family's faces i miss just kuona vitu kwa rangi ya nguo zangu um to see the sun um to see f- people children laughing and smiling and playing vitu kwa hizo just the small small things that i very much miss um pia na miss kuendesha gari i really used to enjoy driving um i also miss going to the beach mimi mtu wa Mombasa so okay na bado naenda baharini bado naogelea lakini siezi kuona just the beauty of of god's creation just those small things um I still miss them until today lakini I'm happy because kitu ambacho nime nimegundua ni kwamba sometimes spiritual vision comes at the cost of physical vision. Hiyo ina maana ya kwamba even though nime nimepoteza eyesight okay. yangu uwezo wangu wa kuona I've been able to gain spiritual Aha. vision through through my life experiences. 